So yeah, I'm gonna be having a Q&A in the comments below on my Instagram, which you can follow right here. Ask me questions, anything, literally mean anything. What up, it's your boy Jay Banksy coming back with another video, and today is about that time. Q&A, Q&A, Q&A. Q A A Q A A. About two weeks ago, I asked you guys to send me questions in the comments, and then I'll do a video on it. And today is the day. So I got a few questions lined up that I just want to answer for y'all, and let's just get into it. Dakota Letterman asks, "What team do you think Judge goes to?" <sighs> Man, I'm filming this as Judge just got an offer from the San Francisco Giants for around 360 M's. Oh my days. I think the cat's out the bag. He's going to the Giants. <laughs> hey y'all, come look at this. I don't think the Yankees are willing to pay over 360 M's to Aaron Judge. And I don't even know why Judge would want to go back to New York. The Yankee fans booed this man. <laughs> San Fran is where Judge is gonna go. So per source, John Heyman, Aaron Judge is going to the Giants. <gasps> Yankees, you're done. If <laughs> Anito, you're done. <laughs> this is great. What a day for baseball. Are we serious, John Heyman? Speed running with Stormtrooper says, nice to see you back. You could do like sporkle quizzes or predictions for next season, but feel free to do whatever you want, bro. Oh, I'm definitely gonna be doing predictions for next season, without a doubt. And who knows, maybe I'll fit a sporkle quiz in there once in a while, we'll see. My boy Ted Cole says, what do you think of the new MLB scheduling for next year? Every MLB team will be playing every other MLB team and reduce number of in-division games. To answer that question, I think it's great for the game. I mean, you're growing it in so many ways right there. You get to literally see matchups of teams that you know you normally wouldn't see. I mean, it's great to finally see teams playing every year instead of waiting the whole, like, I don't even know, the, a bigger gap than what it normally would be. I think that's what baseball should be anyway. I mean, you should be able to play every team, kind of gauge what each team looks like, and then maybe if you play them down the line, you'll have that previous experience to kind of make it a better matchup and make your adjustments. It's all about mind games and strategy, but I think it's great. Second question, what is your opinion on automated ball and strike calls? I think it will be a great improvement, allowing the better pitchers and better hitters to emerge, reduce umpire head game distractions, and make baseball better. Your thoughts? Well, Ted, let this video um, inform you of uh, what I think. Yeah! yeah. Oh! That, that's oh, my, oh my God! God. <laughs> PTSD, man, PTSD. But no, in all serious, I think it'll be good. If anything, I would want the ball and strike accuracy to be as pinpoint as possible. For the field, I think we should keep the umpires in the field for the time being, but you know, they might be on their way out soon too. We got the boy Golf Side asking a question. What up, Jay Banksy? What up, Golf? I suggest you make more Astros content. Whoa, brother, whoa, 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 whoa. Just because you guys make the playoffs every year doesn't mean I'm making strictly Astros content. Y'all just happen to make the playoffs, win the World Series every year. Maybe reactions to those compilation videos like craziest web gems, longest home runs, nastiest pitches, etc., etc. Just do you and take it easy, bro. Maybe I should do that. Maybe I should fit a little reaction video to one of them long home runs. Let's see the, the OG hitter, hitter, hitters, and hitters. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, I could definitely put one of those in. Agent Warrior X asks, do you think or see the New York football giants having potential with Dabble? I mean, yeah. <laughs> I know you've watched the Giants play. They always play 100% throughout the entire game this year. You get to see a full game of Giants actually trying hard. The way his system got you guys playing, I don't see why you guys can't be competitors for years to come with Dabble. William Roby, Robbie, my fault, <laughs> asks, 
which team will be the most improved and which team will regress the most. Hmm. <sighs> that's a good question. The team that's gonna regress the most, you know what? You know what? As much as it pains me to say, nah, you know what? I got my answer. Um, by the time you guys are watching this, uh, it'll be Wednesday, December 7th. And uh, from the time of me answering that question to now, uh, a lot has changed in the MLB. I'm going to keep the question answer the same, and I'll tell you the reason why at the end of the question. But yeah, just know things change. All right. My answer is, and no bias at all the New York Yankees. Now, here's my reasoning. Take a look back to 2017. That team was in a rebuild year. And you can argue that that team was the best team that they've had. And since then, I don't know what's been going on in that GM up higher up system that they got going on over there, but they can't seem to capitalize on what they've been given. And it's only been going down since then. I mean, you could argue this year was okay, but you could argue that this year, if there is no judge, what is that team? That team is a fringe bubble team. So I think the Yankees are a few mistakes away from not making the playoffs next year. All right, I feel like I should owe you guys an explanation on why my opinion still stays the same. It's just tweaked a little bit. As you know, Yankees re-signed Judge. But I got a question I'm gonna ask a majority of baseball fans, Yankee fans specifically. Do you think Judge is gonna have an even better year or an equal to year that he did last year? If you answered no, you are correct. If you answered yes, you're delusional. I don't even wanna talk to you. <laughs> the objective of winter meetings is to improve. So if re-signing Judge doesn't necessarily mean you've improved, did you guys get better? I mean, there hasn't been any more moves made yet. So it's, again, still too early to, to tell. But I mean, you guys will get to the playoffs and Judge will just bat 211 again. But that's my opinion. I don't think you guys improved. I'm glad you guys were able to finally re-sign Judge just so your fans can be satisfied to put their butts in the seats. Good luck. Most improved team? That's even a, that's an even better question. I mean, in my opinion, it hasn't happened yet, but the most improved team, the Chicago Cubs. I'm going out on a limb right there. Not too much evidence to back it up, but I just think the Cubs had a down year. They haven't made any moves yet, but I believe that they will be big spenders this offseason, make a few key signings, and we could see them make a playoff push. Tatis asks, do you think Tatis will be better or worse after the suspension. As of right now, worse. And it might not be so much on a physical thing, but on a mental thing. I feel like his mind won't be right where it needs to be, especially after the first year. I definitely hope he proves me wrong. Error asks, do you think the Red Sox will be better or the same? Uh, I mean, we finished last, so there's nowhere to go but up. So I, I gotta say better, but... I think we'll be better than what we were last year, but not better. <laughs> That's like the best way I could say it. Tatis asks, do you like the Padres? Yes. And for the last question, Sa, hold on. Sachin, Sachin Bandari. I'm sorry if I butchered your name, Sa Sachin. Do you think Mac Jones is the future or no? Before I answer that question, I just want to say thank you guys for watching. To those who sent questions, thank you. To those who didn't get the chance to send a question, that's all right. Hopefully, I'll be doing another Q&A soon. <sighs> Let's just get this answer over and done with. It's been your boy, Jay Banksy. And I'll see you when I see you. No!